Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm coming to you today with a little gun talk discussion that I want to make a video about. That of course I can't kind of flush out on the main channel, because that's not what that channel is designed for, but I want to talk about snowflakes in the gun world and how people fall victim to, I guess it's called the cost sunk fallacy. And essentially, it's when people get so invested in a concept, an idea, a product, because either they're emotionally invested in it, because they either really like the idea, the concept, or the product, or they're financially tied to it because they've invested so much money in it. Um, the gun world is full of people that fall victim to this. And I, I, I brought this up because I was commenting on somebody else's YouTube channel today. And they were talking about single stack 9mm pistols for carry. And he made some fantastic points that companies are essentially divesting themselves of single stack 9mm because they're obsolete because they've been replaced by other guns that are essentially the same size with higher capacities, all built around those new kind of double stack magazines like the SIG P365 and so forth. And I agreed with his sentiment and I posted, I, you know, I've said this on my channel about mini guns, how some guns are, and I use the word obsolete. And inevitably, I get these gun snowflakes that come in there and go, you're wrong. These guns aren't obsolete. I carry them. Okay, that's perfectly fine. You can carry whatever gun you like, but that doesn't mean that the gun isn't obsolete and hasn't been replaced by something else. And then he, this person that I was debating said, well, these are really popular. Well, popularity does not equate to obsolescence. You know, you can have a... I use car analogies a lot. Um, like, for example, I say a 32 Ford Coupe is a really popular car, especially those that like to hot rod. And yes, there are people that have 1932 Ford Coupes that drive them to work every day because they want to. And that's totally cool. They're an awesome car. They're a beautiful car. They work, but they're obsolete obsolescence does not equate to irrelevancy. It doesn't have anything to do with popularity. It has nothing to do with it being a good or a bad product. It just means that it has been replaced by something new by the company that created it. And I have no problem with people that carry obsolete guns. And many of the guns that I enjoy owning and collecting, I will fully admit are obsolete, but I don't care. You know, one of the great things about the modern gun world that I don't think people appreciate is the fact that in today's world, these fads come and go, new gun models come and go so fast now that we never truly get to appreciate the genius that goes into them. I mean, think about this. From the introduction of the 1911, which arguably is the most important semi-automatic handgun of all time, okay? Now, there were semi-automatic handguns and pistols before the 1911, and they were kind of sparse, and you had all these different companies, FN and Colt and Bergman and all these companies that made, and Luger, that made all these semi-automatic pistols, but the 1911 dominated. And I don't mean just dominated. It was the semi-automatic handgun for literally 75 years. 60 years, 75 years. And yes, other companies made other semi-automatic handguns. And I'm not saying those weren't good either. But you have to admit that for the most part, when a company designed a pistol and came out with it, the 1911 or the Browning High Power or uh, whatever it is, uh, you know, like the SIG P210. These models would remain, for the most part, unchanged with maybe occasionally a slight modification for decades. And then after so many years, so many decades, they'll come out with a new model. You know, but in today's world, 
where we have so many options and so much incredible technology that goes into manufacturing, we can have guns that come out this year that are essentially discontinued and replaced by something new and better next year. And these fads come and go. I remember when the single stack 9mm craze hit five years ago, six years ago. And then all of a sudden, SIG came out with the P365. And it revolutionized that micro subcompact 9mm market. Now you can have a gun smaller than those single stack 9mm and carry more ammunition. And that's just, just the way it goes. I've seen fads come and go in just my short time in the, in the gun world. And that's the other thing, too, that I think many modern gun owners and people just generally when they're talking about history and perspective of history don't get. You know, when I used to listen to Rush Limbaugh when he was alive, he said something that made a lot of sense when it comes to talking to people about their perspective of history. And he says, for most people, their perspective of history begins when they were born. That anything that happened before that, because they have no hands-on experience with it, is irrelevant. That they only look at the world through the prism of what they have experienced. And as I said, for a lot of us, myself included, that got into guns late 2000, you know, let's say 8, 9, in that area, really like the way I am now. I was never part of the people because I was too young to appreciate when the 1911 dominated. And then when the Glock came out, Glock was the only thing on the market for a while. You know, uh, it was the predominant striker fired polymer handgun. You know, yeah, there was the Beretta 92 and this. And anyway, you guys know what I'm saying about these models. But now literally we have a gun that comes out and it's discontinued and replaced sometimes in the same year because something better is built. But because people get so invested in a particular model and they get used to carrying it, and of course guns are expensive, and for some people they buy one gun and they're going to carry it for a decade. But when people say the gun that they carry is obsolete, they get offended. I don't understand that. Why get offended? Obsolescence, as I said, does not mean bad. It doesn't mean irrelevant. It doesn't mean you're an idiot for carrying it. It doesn't mean any of those things. It obsolescence in the term of the gun world and in manufacturing means the model has been either discontinued or replaced by the manufacturer with something different or better and new. That's all that it means. And man, when I use the term obsolete, man, people come out of the woodwork and have to defend it. You know, and then the person that I was debating says, you don't know what obsolete means. I don't think you understand what that word means. Yeah, I, I went and copied it from the Merriam Dictionary and replied, said, I'm pretty sure that means what it means. And the video that we're, refer that we're referring to says that this gun or these guns have been discontinued by the manufacturer, which they have, and been replaced by this model. And then I show in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary uh, the definition of obsolete. It says obsolete, uh, obsolete or obsolescence means a product that, or in this term of manufacturing, has been replaced by the company <laughs> and been discontinued and replaced by another model. I don't know. People get so invested in the cost sunk fallacy because they're so either emotionally or financially invested in something that they just have to defend it to the very end. And I don't know why people take such offense to that. Um, you know, as I said, you can tell me that I'm an idiot. And guess what? I don't care. You can tell me the gun that I like is stupid and obsolete. I don't care. If you don't know me, you got to realize I could care less what other people think. And maybe it's because when I was growing up, people made fun of me all the time. You know, I'm, I'm a dork. I totally admit it. In high school, I mean, it was miserable. I was picked on. I was bullied. I didn't have friends. And yes, yeah, some of it maybe it's because I was obnoxious. But when people say, I disagree with you, I don't like you, well, it's your loss. I really don't give a flip, you know, uh, because I am so confident in what I like, I don't care.
And even if the things I like are old dated, because everyone says I'm an old man anyway, you know, the way that I'm, my uh, personality is, I'm an old man, okay? I like just older things. I like older technology. Uh, it's just the way that I am. I don't care if someone disagrees with me. You can call me names. I don't care. Um, I don't get offended. I don't feel like I have to defend myself or my choices because essentially I know that I'm right. That, and then that's it. And I feel sorry for anybody that doesn't like me because number one, it's their loss. And number two, I feel sorry for them because eventually they're going to realize that I'm right and I'll be here to accept their apology. And that's just the way it goes. But anyway, don't be a gun snowflake. Okay. Don't be a gun snowflake. If somebody says something negative about the gun you like or carry, don't care. Don't care about it. It's not that big of a deal. You carry the gun you want. You like the gun you want. That's the brilliance of capitalism and the modern gun world. I don't care if you carry a Colt 1908. I don't care. You happy with it? Does it work for you? Are you good with it? There, there you go. I, I, I don't care. I don't care if you carry a cap and ball revolver. Is that what you want to carry? Okay, there you go. I might not think it's the most rational thing to carry, but if that's what you want, it doesn't affect my life whatsoever. Don't be a gun snowflake. So there you go. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think that some guns are obsolete? And do you get offended if somebody says the gun you like is obsolete? Anyway, I'm just curious. There you go. So let me know what you think. And I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So as always, thanks for watching.